Hi, hope you're doing well. In this video, we will try to understand the concepts of partitions and replication in Kafka. Let us consider a basic Kafka cluster. In case of Kafka, the primary unit of storage is a Kafka topic. Let us say we have a Kafka cluster with three topics. Topic 1, Topic 2 and Topic 3. Generally, for different types of data which is coming in, we will store the data in different topics. We will have a Kafka producer which will produce data to the Kafka cluster and you will have a Kafka consumer which will consume data from the Kafka topics. Now, let's say that you have a very big data set. Maybe it's in terabytes of storage. We cannot store all of this data in a single machine. So in this case, what happens is that Kafka will store the data in multiple partitions. Let us see how this works. Let us consider a Kafka cluster which has three brokers, broker one, broker two, and broker three. Now let us consider one topic, let's say topic one. So what Kafka would do is that it will create a partition P1 in broker one, a partition P2 in broker two, and a partition P3 in broker three. Now this ensures that your data set is split across multiple brokers. This also ensures that the system is horizontally scalable. Even if the data set grows, we can add more partitions and scale the system accordingly. Now within these partitions, the data is stored in multiple log segments. You can think of each log segment as a separate file. Now whenever a Kafka producer is producing data to the topic, it needs to produce data to the multiple partitions and each Kafka consumer will consume data from all of these partitions. By having more partitions, we can have more parallelism in the Kafka consumption. Now, another important concept in Kafka is replication. Each of these partitions will have a replica as well. Let us see that. You can see that in broker 1, we have partition 2 replica. In broker 2, we have partition 3 replica. And in broker 3, we have partition 1 replica. Similarly, we have three other replicas. The whole idea of the replica is to ensure that the system is completely fault tolerant. Now, how do these replicas work? So generally, the way the system works is that whenever you produce data into a Kafka topic, first, the data will be written to the partition leader. In this case, the leader for partition 1 is broker 1, the leader for partition 2 is broker 2, and the leader for partition 3 is broker 3. And once the data goes to the leader, from the leader, this data is replicated to the replicas. There are multiple configurations which can be set for this. Let us look at them one by one. Here I am just showing a limited set of configurations, but a large number of other configurations are also possible. One configuration is you can set min in sync replica to 2 and act to 0. In this case, the system is very fast and it is highly available. Basically, in this case, what happens is that your producer will just produce the data to the Kafka topic, but not wait for any acknowledgement from Kafka. This ensures that the system is very fast, but there can be data loss. The second configuration is we can set act to 1 and min ISR to 2. In this case, whenever the producer is producing a message to the Kafka topic, it will ensure that the message has gone at least to the partition leader and only then move forward. So here, we know that the message has reached the Kafka cluster. But the downside here is that if the leader itself goes down before the message is copied to the replica, then there will be a data loss. The final approach is that we can set ACK equal to all and we can set min ISR to 2. In this case, whenever the producer produces message to Kafka, the message has to go to the leader partition. At the same time, the message also has to be replicated at least to one replica and only then the producer will get an acknowledgement. This reduces the chances of a data loss significantly, but it will slightly slow down the system. Why exactly do we need these replicas? Let us say broker tree goes down. Now, one complete broker has gone down. 
how will the system handle this broker 3 was the leader for partition p3 now another broker has to become the leader for partition p3 in this case we can see that now broker 1 has become the leader for partition p3 this way the system can continue to run now in this case normally what would happen is we would try to find out why broker 3 went down and bring it back up but in the interval when broker 3 is down the system is still up and running let us see a quick demo of this to see how partitions and replications work in Kafka. Let me open up my terminal. Here I have the terminal open. Let me create a topic with three partitions and three replicas. In this case I have three brokers running in ports 1992, 1993 and 1994. three partitions and three replicas. The topic has been created. Let us describe this topic now. Here we have described the topic. What you can see is that there are three partitions, partition 0, partition 1 and partition 2. For partition 0, we can see that the leader is broker 2. In this case, the broker allocation numbers are from 0, 1 and 2. So partition 0 is allocated to broker 2, partition 1 is allocated to broker 1 and partition 2 is allocated to broker 0. You can also see the replicas over here. So for every single partition, there are replicas. So for example, in case of partition 0, the leader is 2 and the replicas are present in broker 1 and 0. So here we can see the topic is evenly distributed across the three brokers. Now let me kill one of the brokers and we can see what happens. I will kill broker 3. So let me get the process ID and I will be killing the broker now. Let's wait for a while for the broker to go down. The broker is down now. Now let me describe the topic. Now you can see that something has changed here. We killed broker 2 entirely. Now we can see that for none of the partitions, broker 2 is a leader. We see that broker 1 has become leader for two of the partitions. This way, even though broker 2 went down, the system can still function properly. This is the purpose of having a replica. I hope that this video gave you a basic understanding about Kafka partitions and Kafka replica. If you would like to see more videos like this, please subscribe to the video as well as hit the bell icon. If you like this video, please hit the like button as well. Thanks for watching.